So we're at Golden Age Collectibles, and today we're talking with a couple of the authors from the new Age of X-Men Alpha. There you go. I am Zach Thompson. And the, uh, Lonnie Nadler here. So guys, what is Age of X-Men? Age of X-Men is a brand new shared mutant universe that spins directly out of the events of X-Men Disassembled, um, the 10-part miniseries that just concluded. Um, it is a utopia for mutants where everyone is a mutant, and X-Man is executing his vision for the future of the race. Also, love is forbidden. <laughs> Gee, up until that last part, I was like, oh, this sounds like a real utopia, so no real conflict or anything. I assume there must be conflict, though. Uh, yeah, there's Zach and I tried to do something... Uh, a little bit different here with the conflict because we didn't want it to just be like fisticuffs and people punching each other all the time. So it's more of an ideological conflict that we think speaks to a lot of X-Men themes from the past and also a lot of um, issues that have come up in uh, like politically and stuff in our in our time. So we're trying to do something a little bit different, but as uh, as you just said, there's there's nothing's ever just perfect for the X-Men. So there's some darkness underneath and. Uh, Things will get worse for them as the issues continue. And what did you guys look to for your inspirations for this story? Um, a lot of uh, Miracle Man, um, the, the old sort of stories with Alan Moore and Neil Gaiman um, really deal with superheroes in a way that we wanted to push into the X-Men. Um, we talked a lot about uh, Age of Apocalypse because the event is similar in size and scope, so we wanted to learn everything we could about where that went wrong so we could do it right. <laughs> Uh, and um, you're, you're a big fan of Mike Carey's X-Men Legacy? Yeah, Mike Carey's X-Men Legacy run was something that was pretty inspirational for us just in terms of how character-driven it was um, and how experimental it was with layouts and stuff like that. Um, and then aside from comics, we also like to draw inspiration from literature. So we looked at, uh, like, Brave New World is probably the single biggest mm -hmm. influence on this. It's the uh, Huxley Yeah, Brave Aldous World. Huxley's Brave New World. Um along with his Doors of Perception book that's about him taking acid. Uh, so those two were really influential, and then stuff like uh, any of like Margaret Atwood's dystopic fiction or uh, Orwellian stuff. Uh, and then we also talked a lot about movies, like David Lynch movies came up a lot for oh, some yeah. reason. A lot of American Dream imagery in there, and um, even like Tom King's The Vision is a huge inspiration. Um, we just love the way that that took a character that's normally so above uh, reality and humanized him, and we feel like the, the X-Men have uh, spent too long being way too powerful and, and too complicated, so we tried our best to humanize them here. And this is a multi-book story, right? This is a six miniseries spin of Age of X-Men Alpha that came out today, um, each with their own sort of story, uh, exploring a different pocket of the world. You don't have to read all of them to understand the event, but your understanding of the event will be elevated by reading all of them. And how long is it going to this whole storyline running for? Uh, from January to July, I believe July 17th is the, is the Omega issue. Yeah, so it's a six-month event for the X-Men. Uh, probably worth noting that other X-Men titles are continuing outside of the Age of yeah. X-Men, so like X-23 and Uncanny X-Men and Mr. and Mrs. X. And X-Force. Yeah. So this is almost like a pocket dimension reality. Not a dream or an alternate it's, story, but... It's hard to explain, because it's like, it is an alternate universe, but it is the X-Men who are in it are like the 616 X-Men. Yeah. They're not just like people who won't exist. They will experience this as their normal versions of themselves. And it's not quite, like, without giving away the conclusion, it's not quite the same thing as, like, how Age of Apocalypse was created. It's not a moment in time that has been forever changed. It is something different, something new. If there's one thing you guys could tell somebody about this book, what do you want them to know? That it <laughs> is informed by a lifelong love for the X-Men and a... And a playful sort of recontextualization of continuity in ways that people are not expecting. I think Zach and I are always just people who are trying to, we love comics and we love Marvel and we love the X-Men and we're very aware of the stuff that's happened before and we never want to retread that entirely so this is it's always about us trying to push things to new places uh, while offering a little bit of the familiar at the same time.